artificial preservatives in your product. So how do they stay okay? You don't need, no, it's, we don't use any additives in the product. Most supplements don't contain artificial preservatives. Most of them do not. Most supplements just contain manufacturing additives that make it easier for them to make, or it makes it easy for them to make, say, a tablet. Right. There's going to be binders and fillers that make that tablet stick together. Right. In some cases, that tablet can be 98 to 99% additives and only one or two percent or less active ingredients. And then of course, when you put all those binders and fillers to stick the tablet together, right. you have to put lubricants and flowing agents in to make them flow or they won't flow. So you have to put ingredients to compensate for those. And then when you make it stick together so well, you have to put other ingredients in that will make it fall apart after you swallow it. So it's just one compensating ingredient after another, after another, after another, and you lose sight of the only reason you got the ingredient in the first right. place. So for us, all we focus on, most supplements, as I said, don't contain artificial preservatives, but they do contain a whole range of artificial and natural additives that are just about manufacturing and have nothing to do with your best interests. You don't need to, you know, if you take, say, a few, three or four capsules or tablets a day, say that's three or four grams of material, and if the typical product is a third or half additives, that means you're consuming a pound or two of additives every year. Wow. With my products, Zero. Zero. And that's the best number yeah. that you want. Let's go over this way. Andrew, is, is it possible that with different vitamins, different supplements that I purchase, does one cancel out another? Can one negate the effects or positive effects of different ones? That's doesn't work that way with supplements because supplements aren't medicines or drugs. Um, so you're not going to have a contraindication of taking one supplement in, in interacting with another. Okay, good. Um, there are certain suppl supplements, certainly botanicals and things like that, that you have to be aware of in the context of, of certain medications you might be taking, but those kinds of interactions are very, very rare. Just as you have to be aware with certain medications and foods you're eating, like, like grapefruit is one of those things you have to be conscious if you're taking certain kinds of medications right. and, and consuming grapefruit. It could affect the way that medication functions functions in your body. So because if you're taking supplements that are really intended as mine are, as their food supplements. Mm. They're designed to supplement your diet and providing these dietary ingredients. You know, berberine that we're talking about here is fascinating because it is also a root and it's a root that's related to turmeric root, but it's a root that just has been observed for a long period of time to have beneficial effects in the way our body manages and metabolizes glucose and the way our body manages and metabolizes our blood lipids like our cholesterol and LDL cholesterol. So it's just for us, it's just a matter of paying attention to these natural ingredients that play a natural and supportive role in our body that might promote a healthier state when it comes to certain uh, factors in our body, whether it's our blood sugar metabolism or insulin metabolism or our lipid metabolism. I find that with so many of the wonderful supplements, you kind of look towards um, history books, you look towards the Asian diet, you look towards herbal remedies from years and years ago. Right. How important is that in the creation of these? Well, it's, that's always been important for me. That's always been important validation but it was always insufficient for me to make a product. Huh. Just because something had been used in traditional med medicine didn't mean that it warranted my making a product out of it. Mm. So until uh, more conventional science analyzed the ingredient, identified the active components, and how they work in the body, it wasn't something I was necessarily going to make a product about because I would have to be able to stand up here and say why that product is beneficial. Right. And I'd have to know that there was science that I could read you quotes from the science as I could with Berberine. Uh, so, so that's ours really what we like to do is we have both parts of that equation. With so many of the botanical ingredients, the natural ingredients, they've been used for, for ages. The Mediterranean diet, we could talk about lycopene in a multivitamin, it's a carotenoid. Right. The Mediterranean di had diet has known about the importance of tomatoes for centuries and centuries. Turmeric, berberine, ginger, the Asian diet right. for probably 2,000 years. So these are all ingredients that in the last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years have been the subject of, of very serious research. And, and fortunately for me, uh, I started my company, say, 39 years ago, not 100 years ago, because I have access to both all of the traditional literature and now all the current scientific literature. And what's really exciting 
is even though there's no real economic interest for the pharmaceutical companies to be exploring these things like berberine because they right. can't patent it and make a lot of money off it, um, there's nevertheless uh, a wide body of science and research and folks who are committed to finding out and understanding these natural tools. If you'd like to order berberine, it is available, the new berberine. Um, we are going to mention quickly cinnamon because... And, and berberine is something that you take one or two capsules with each meal. Okay. So berberine is something you take one or two capsules with each meal. And if you look at the science and the literature on how effectively it supports our uh, healthy blood sugar levels, healthy blood sugar metabolism, our A1C levels, it's something you'd be very excited about. And similarly, usually we do it the other way. We talk about cinnamon first and then berberine, but I thought I'd give berberine a little bit of <laughs> top feeling for a moment. So, and then <laughs> cinnamon is something that, it was the first ingredient with significant research supporting its benefits in terms of our blood sugar metabolism and our insulin metabolism. One simple, that's one, one or two capsules a day. I take one capsule every day. Um, my, you know, blood sugar metabolism, insulin metabolism, I'm active. I, I try to stay at my ideal weight. So those numbers are, are always in the healthy normal range. And I've just noticed since I've been do, using cinnamon, um, a bit better, and the same with berberine. And obviously this is not the same cinnamon that I'll find in the food pantry, correct? No, it's from the same source in terms it comes from the bark of the same plant. But again, the standardization when it comes to cinnamon, it's the type A polymers. So you have to take that cinnamon, that would be a normal spice, but then you have to extract it further and you have to extract it down to the beneficial components. So our cinnamon still tastes like cinnamon. Uh, I'll sprinkle it on my oat bran, yeah. I'll, I'll put it in a smoothie. Muriel puts it in her little espresso or little cappuccino in the morning, um, which she can't talk to me until she has that. <laughs> and, and if I talk to her before she has that, she looks at me like, why are you talking to me? <laughs> so, but she'll open a capsule and put cinnamon on top of that. And she, if she's watching now in, on the West Coast, she's not going to be very happy with me when I get back. <laughs> the truth comes out. Yeah. Well, talking of uh, <laughs> things that maybe you'll be doing at home as well, is something that I know Andrew does, I now do, and that is tea. Andrew, you know I can speak very uh, effectively on good teas, obviously coming from England. You, what a pleasant surprise it was for me to discover your line of teas. There, well, thank you. And they're like nothing in the world. And, oh. and the reason why I, I brought these two in particular, most Americans hate green tea. Right. But we all know the incredible benefits to be derived from green tea. So I created a mint green tea. Uh, if you order mint tea in France, um, if you order... You'll, you'll say in France, it's thé vert. Thé vert is green tea. Yep. They're going to, if you, uh, if you order thé vert, or if you order, say, mint tea, thé la menthe, um, that's mint tea, you're going to get green mint tea. Because if you order tea, it's coming with green tea. Right. If you want just mint on its own, you have to order une infusion, an infusion, uh, à la menthe, an infusion menthe. So you have to order it differently because they respect the difference between mint tea, mint on its own, an infusion of mint, and green mint tea. And our green mint tea is virtually perfectly reviewed. Our chamomile mint tea, one is for the morning, one is for the night. Our chamomile mint tea, I think all of the reviews but one was five star, and I think it was almost the same for the, the green mint tea. So for me, it was just exciting to be able to offer teas that people typically don't like. Yeah and show that if you do them right, and they're organic, and one tea bag will make a quart of tea. So one tea bag, it's incredibly affordable to think it doesn't make just a six or eight ounce cup, but it makes 32 ounces or more. And the other thing is, either of these teas, typical teas, you steep them for two or three minutes, they get bitter. Yep. You could steep these teas for two or three weeks, <laughs> just keep in the refrigerator, they will not get bitter. So it's exciting for me, and, and tea is such a simple habit. There's no calories. It's one of those lifestyle habits in Asia that's associated with long wow. life and healthy life. If we could adopt it culturally, we would be so benefited by doing so. I, I would say this to you because it, it, for those of us that have tried a green tea and it's like, uh, I don't want to do that, with the peppermint, you have no idea, the chamomile, at least buy a box of Andrew's tea and make a cup. If you don't love it, send it all back, but please try it. You have to try it, because I think if you do, you'll be hooked. 
and it's literally 50 cents a quart. Right. And, and you could actually make more than a quart. Um, recently, I, I put a, a tea bag in and I used it over and over in the little uh, teapot because I was traveling in the refrigerator and, uh, and I probably got a half a gallon it, and it was still strong and never bitter. It's such a wonderful surprise, you'll love it. I, I want to go to the phones to Minnesota and say good evening to Edith. Edith, welcome to the Monday Night Show. You're live with Andrew Lessman. Hello. Hi, Edith. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Welcome. Um, my question, and um, I just want to say up front that I take nearly everything that you make. Thank you. Thanks. Most important is the glucosamine because I have back and neck issues. Right. And the nighttime because I have trouble sleeping. Right. But I recently started a, um, well, actually in September, I started a weight loss program right. and they push a lot of their own supplements. They don't, it's not like a pre-made food type thing, but, right. but they do have, they have a, you know, a supplement for everything and they keep pushing me and I keep saying, you know, no, I already take enough. Right. Um, but I, I, I take the energy and fat metabolism. Right. And I ordered, I saw that the new L-carnitine, the acetyl. Acetyl L-carnitine, which by the way, you get acetyl L-carnitine in energy and fat metabolism factors. Oh, you do? Yes. Because yes. I use this, I, before I started this program, I used the Secure. Right. I would use it every morning, uh, but obviously I was eating too much after that. But right. <laughs> right. So I've lost 35 pounds. Oh, I've got great. 12 pounds to go, and I... You know, they keep trying to push these supplements on me, and I want to know what I can take so I can finish my last 12 pounds successfully. Well, I think you know, I make supplements, but the key to those last 12 pounds aren't going to be any supplement. Right. As I even say, in terms of the secure, it's just finding tools that, as you said, helps you manage what you eat throughout the day. So to the extent this program is, is helping you manage the food you eat throughout the day, then, then I think just as you've lost the, the first 35, you're going to continue to lose the last 12. The energy and fat, the acetyl L-carnitine, that's just the metabolic support, but the real key 99% of that process is going to be what you're doing in terms of what you're eating. And, and I'm not sure if you're also trying to exercise as part of this. I don't, I don't get much exercise. I'm in Minnesota, and yes. we just had like 10 inches of snow today, oh, yes. and I'm really, um, I can't, I it's, don't uh, understood. walk in the snow because, and I know there's weight loss clinics and you know right. I mean it's it's but again uh, regardless of exercise still a, I always say 80 to 90 percent of weight loss is what we put in our mouth yes so, and I've heard you say that many times and that's why I finally decided that I had to do this great. and not buy the prepackaged food right which I've tried and never worked for me right but I just would like a little and I know I have to keep eating it I mean this is yep. going to well, be a even, life changing this, Program Even, for me. The food part of the program has worked really well for me. Great. But I just need a little extra boost. It's finding, yeah, if we find a structure with food, that's the key. Yeah, Even it, things like drinking green tea is a, is a great habit. I think it's one of the, the best habits in, in the Asian culture that keeps them far more lean as a society than we are. But, but there's not going to be, I think, energy and fat, the acetyl carnitine, they, they support you, but there, there's not going to be, there's no magic supplement ingredient at all that's going to help you with those last 12 pounds. But you already have a perfect track record. You've lost 35. It should be very simple if you keep doing exactly what you're doing. It might be a little patience, but you should accomplish the last 12. So I I don't have to listen to them when they tell me that I need their supplements to continue my weight loss. Well, I doubt if they make their own supplements. I suspect they're made by some contract manufacturer for them. Right. So far be it for me, I haven't seen their supplements to comment upon them. But, uh, but you seem to be doing pretty well, and I suspect they're pretty pleased with your progress, the fact that you've lost 35 pounds following their, their food directives and using the supplements you're currently using. Congratulations, Edith. It's a wonderful question, and it, honestly, I think something that a lot of folks would want to talk about. Um, uh, if you'd like to try the tea, you can see I was uh, happy just pouring away there. Really recommend it. You will love it, and it's so refreshing. Andrew, I did pour you a cup of the chamomile if you'd like oh, some. Oh, thank you very much. Um, cool. If you had to choose between the two, which would you choose? 
<laughs> I know that's really a hard question. They're no, all like your children. No, I because I start my day with the, the green tea. I start my day with green tea until about 12 or 2 o'clock. Right. I do um, typically the, the jasmine green tea and the mint green tea. That's all I drink until the afternoon and then afterwards I do mint chamomile for the rest of the day. And just before I go to sleep, I have straight chamomile. But my day is pretty much defined. I really don't drink water on its own anymore, I drink tea. And, and tea has no calories. And of course it's 99.9999% water. So it, I'm basically just drinking water. You, uh, trust me, you're gonna yep. love it. I can't recommend it enough. Okay, okay, I'm gonna put the tea down for a second. Uh, we are already well into our second and final hour. Mm. Um, it tastes like honey. The, the chamomile, there's no chamomile tea in the world like my chamomile tea, unless you go to Egypt and you get the finest organic chamomile blossom tea from Egypt, and that's exactly where we'd I, go to get it. And I don't have the time to go to Egypt tonight, so I'll just use one of Thank you. That's tea. <laughs> Good. We're going to move on to energy and fat metabolism. And that's what Edith was just talking about. And it's a product that it contains uh, not as much acetyl L-carnitine as the acetyl the pure acetyl L-carnitine on its own, but it's a product that I created a long time ago in response to all those crazy weight loss products, especially at the time. Right. Again, I've been in this industry too long that contained ephedra and ephedrine and harmful ingredients. So I was asked to make a product that was not going to be harmful, that could provide immediate energy, and that was my urgent energy formula I had that provides immediate energy, but you weren't gonna like fall off a cliff, that right. it was going to also provide mid and long-term energy, and use botanicals to do that, and also made sure that it supported fat-burning metabolism by having carnitine in it, and also by having B vitamins in it. So what it was was basically a request for a healthier alternative because I think folks out there were aware that the products that were being foisted on them, sold by so many different companies, really ultimately weren't in their best interest. As much as taking ephedra could help dramatically with weight loss, mm -hmm. it was dangerous. And there were people who, you know, I said this among my friends, that there are gonna be people who die using this because people will abuse it, not use it appropriately, and that's exactly what happened. So it's, these it's are ingredients terrible. that are, it's designed to be a simple, straightforward, gentle product. It has the caffeine-related alkaloids, not caffeine from coffee, but caffeine-related alkaloids from, again, green tea and from guarana. And there's an abundance of research. I didn't even mention this when we we're talking about green tea because I don't tend to emphasize this, but there's probably 40 or 50 studies, maybe more, that talk about green tea's role in fat metabolism and weight loss. I should have really emphasized That's that, Edith, point. if you're still watching, that if you're drinking, if you stay hydrated throughout the day and drinking a fluid, just make it green tea. Yeah. Because there is great research on the polyphenols in green tea, not the caffeine, the polyphenols in green tea, because they, they see the same benefit even with decaffeinated green tea. So it, it's something, and that's why we put this formula the way, together the way we did, where we have standardized green tea and standardized guarana, in addition to, to ginseng, in addition to B-complex and vitamin C, in addition to carnitine. If you are um, on a weight loss kick for the new year, if losing weight is important to you at this moment in time, this is a product that really should be on your list. And again, it's so vital to know that I feel with Andrew Lessman's product, there is more of a community spirit. So when you read the reviews, and hopefully you'll be able to leave a review as well, I mean, this one has nearly a thousand five-star reviews. It works. What else can you say but that? Well, and again, it's a product that I say with all my products, first, do, do no harm, you know, cause no problems. So this is a product that's designed that it's not going to cause any jittery discomfort. Right. And you'll read, you'll read hundreds of reviews from folks who are very wary of taking it because they're afraid of a product that might have this kind of benefit, that it will be uncomfortable. Um, but this is a product that's designed to be first and foremost a, a just a gentle support. So it gets you, so it gets you going. It supports your met, supports energy metabolism, which is basically fat metabolism. Because in our body, fat is the most energy intensive metabolism we could engage. Meaning that we deliver more energy from burning a gram of fat than from burning a gram of carbohydrate mm -hmm. or sugar or protein. And, and of course, the fat stored in our body is principally stored for that reason. It's a savings account. It's, right. It was thousands of years ago, it was our survival account. So to the extent 
we can provide the metabolic tools and the metabolic reason to, to go after that fat, to extract the energy from that fat, that's going to be the fat burning and weight loss that we seek. If you'd like to order this one again, various sizing. We know a lot of folks just want to try it. You could, of course, try it with that smaller size. Uh, we'll send it straight to you. We'll head over this way. Yeah, and this, by the way, is our monthly special. So yes. it's, it's crazy. It's almost uh, half off. It's today's special pricing. And obviously, I mean, what are we, January the 22nd today, is it? 23rd? Yes. Um, what is I today's date? Remember. I don't know. 20, not the 21st. I know that. It's 22nd. I only have, you made me look at my steps. <laughs> I only have 13,000 steps. Only th how many do you normally do? Oh, I normally, I thought we talked about this the other day. I normally do 15,000, try to do 15 a day. Very I've good. done as many as 40 in a day, but... Um, well, you've still got a few hours left. Yes, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll walk around. Running around the hotel I, room. I, I do that, yes. <laughs> I've been known to make phone calls and just walk around in circles. That's what I do. Whatever it takes. Yes. Um, talking of whatever it takes, <laughs> digest the shore. For anybody out there that's looking for a comprehensive blend to really help and ease digestion, this is a great, great product. We'll also take a phone call in this presentation oh, cool. as well. Um, so digest the shore. Tell me about this one. Well, digestion in our body is entirely done by enzymes. Of course, we need the right environment in our stomach. It's a very low pH environment that activates those enzymes. But you can't, you, you, you have to have proteases to digest protein, lipases to digest fat, but you can't digest the foods we eat. We eat these incredibly diverse and complex foods, and we extract what we need from them on a molecular level. But how do we access those molecules? We access those molecules because we've digested it. The enzymes in our digestive system broke down all the crazy random things we eat into their single molecules that we could absorb and utilize. It's a, it's a crazy process to think. We're not thinking about it, and it's going on inside our body all the time. And, and just to show, here's a capsule, and it's, this is like, oops, I broke the capsule. Um, uh, but it's very like- Very strong ultrafine powder. And what's important to know about that, so many of the enzyme products on the market are tablets. It's bizarre to me that you deliver a tablet because you have to digest a tablet. You don't have to digest that. That's ultrafine powder, 100% pure enzymes that are immediately distributed with your stomach's contents to do the work. Sorry, one quick, because I know we've got to get to the phone call, just one quick question. Andrew, yes. just so I'm clear, so anybody out there, any one of us who is currently taking any type of supplement that is in the form of a hard tablet, that you're saying that that is simply not as good as it could be, correct? Well, it's, it's quite simple. The ingredients that are typically in those tablets, all of them that I know of, they start as powders. And when you want to use them in your body, you have to break them out of that tablet into a powder and put them back in solution. Right. So that tablet is just an obstacle to your accessing the material in its original form. So it's just a convenient economic way for companies to make products. But if you're really focused on the interest, especially with a digestive product, it needs to go to work immediately because you only have a limited amount of time to make a difference in the comfort of how your digestive system is working. So the, our product is 100% digestive enzymes. That capsule is immediately available, the powder immediately available to go to work. A tablet, quite different. You could talk to any radiologist. I remember this in school. You could talk to any radiologist who will tell you that they often, when they're young, what they're fooled by watching calcium tablets or some kind of vitamin tablet going through someone's system, right. um, not digested. You'll see a, a white mass because it's, you know, it's opaque in terms of uh, radiologically. How, I, I just, so there's a red flag there. If anybody's taking a supplement that is rock hard, no, we can do better take, than that. It should, liquids should be in a soft gel capsule, powder should be in a two-piece capsule, or in a loose powder. So it's, it's accessible to you. Let's go to Annette, who's joining us live from Massachusetts. Annette, welcome to the Monday Night Show. Annette, you're on live with Andrew. Hi, good evening from Massachusetts. Hi, Hi, Andrew. Hi, Adam. How are you tonight? Hi, Annette. How are you? We're great. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Um, thank you for taking my call. Sure. Um, my uh, concern is cholesterol. Okay, I, um, I, my cholesterol has been creeping up. I'm 57 years old. Um, and we're at 244. It is 60 of the, um, what is it, the HDL, and what's 63 of the LDL? That's the bad one, right? Right. Okay. So um, I 
bought your um, Connecticut Care. Right. And I bought the oatmeal, right. uh, the five of you, so uh, I'm, I'm petrified of having to take a statin. Right. And so I was just wondering what you would recommend that I take, um, how much of, of all of the above, and I'm eggs okay to eat. Yeah, I... Uh, I would stay away from eggs, egg yolks, because they're the most concentrated source of cholesterol in the diet, other than eating liver or brains. Um, mm -hmm. So I would stay away from egg yolks. There is, you know, of course, the egg manufacturers don't want to hear anyone say that. And mm -hmm. all the other, the food manufacturers would like to tell you that your diet has no impact at all on cholesterol. And I could say personally, it has an enormous impact on my levels of cholesterol. And that's why vegans and vegetarians have dramatically lower levels of cholesterol because they don't consume cholesterol. So I would avoid eggs. I would try to avoid the red meat, eat fish, you know, less amounts of chicken. But as far as using Cholesticare, I would have one capsule with each meal, but if you're having oat meal or oat bran in the morning, which that's a great way to start every day with a, a bowl of oat bran or oat meal, you don't have mm -hmm. to take a capsule of Cholesticare then. But have the oat meal or oat bran each morning. Do mm -hmm. that, if you do that just for two or three weeks and have a capsule of Cholesticare with each meal, omega-3s mm -hmm. are also great and CoQ10 are also great to support healthy cholesterol levels. I would say that your 244 number is probably going to be dipping down around 200 or maybe better, and your LDL will also be going down proportionately. So uh, so just give it a try. And and again, the statin drugs, if you have to take them, I don't think you'll need to. The Fibromucil, mm -hmm. if you take it at the same time, if you have a capsule of Fibromucil with your oatmeal or oat bran, have two capsules when you take Cholesticare, um, it will only give you better benefits. But the statin drugs, you can take low doses, take them every other day, and get a great result if you had to. But the, mm -hmm. the natural route is the good first step. Just work with your doctor. And, and I think you'll be surprised. I think you can get your total under 200. And your HDL levels are over six, 60, I believe you had said, correct? 60-something? My HDL is 60. They want me to get it over 65. Yeah, the only way you raise your HDL is going to be by doing uh, cardiovascular aerobic activity. Um, it mm -hmm. won't go up. Uh, 60 is not bad. But then if you lower your total and you lower your LDL, your 60 mm -hmm. level is, is more than adequate. That becomes a great level. So if your total is 190, um, I would say your, your triglycerides are probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 80 or 90 because they're going to be um, your your VLDL is 20% is of your triglycerides and that contributes to your total number. So so I think if you just the oatmeal and oat bran in the morning, uh, a mm -hmm. capsule of Cholesticare with each meal, each time you eat, um, okay. two capsules of Fibromucil when you do that, Omega-3s, CoQ10, a good addition, um, but I think you're going to surprise yourself, and I think you'll find yourself under 200. And do I reach... I want to surprise my doctor, because what do I do? Surprise both. But, and do reach out to my offices, call my company, okay. let them know you spoke to me on the phone, get to my assistant, and, and let's see how you do, and I, I'd be glad to see if we could help you in any way. Can I ask you one quick and more question? Sure, sure. Salmon. If you eat salmon, does it have to be wild salmon in order for it to be beneficial? <laughs> Good question. That's a, a great, great, great question. The answer is it doesn't have to be wild salmon. And nowadays I even wonder half the time if when I'm told it's wild salmon, it's really wild salmon. Plus there are mm -hmm. some folks who farm salmon and do it unbelievably responsibly and don't use, they, they do it by sort of an organic standard so there's no antibiotics or, or any other um, things being given to the salmon. Just. Salmon is just a, a great, healthy thing to eat. We mm -hmm. should try to do the best we can to get quality farm-raised or uh, the best quality wild salmon. Also, wild salmon sometimes gets outrageously expensive. Oh, but, tell me about it. <laughs> but fish is just, uh, we have to watch mercury levels when we're eating things like tuna. I, I wouldn't eat shark anymore or swordfish anymore, things like that. Um, but fish is just a great substitute for, for red meat because red meat also happens to be the least environmentally friendly meat we could, at least environmentally friendly source of protein we could consume. So if we, to the extent we try to eat in a fashion that's friendlier to the environment, we'll eat more fruits, more vegetables, nuts, seeds, things like that, and more chicken, more poultry, and uh, more fish.
And there, thank you so much. Great, great questions. Thanks. Really great questions, isn't it? Thank I mean, you. I, I, truly. And, you know, if you have something that you want to ask Andrew, 1 376 8255. Andrew, we have just a moment to mention bean and vegetable gas relief. It's, a, it's an important as, one that a lot of people want to see. As long I as, rephrase that. as I sound like a broken record talking about eating beans and nuts seeds, legumes, cruciferous vegetables. Mm. These are the foods that contain those molecules that create gas, mm. that are gassy foods. This is a great reviewed product. It is um, this is a product I always love to tell the story when I was, um, I was gonna be coaching my goddaughter's soccer team for the day and, uh, and beforehand I figured I'd have, there's a restaurant near us that has enormous bowls, like a quart of soup. I had a quart of black bean soup, a quart right. of chili, and a quart of pea soup. And then I took a few capsules of bean and veggie gas relief, and I could attest to the fact <laughs> that it works. My goddaughter was already warning all her friends not to come near me on the field. No one was, no one was guarding me. I had my, all the way to the goal, no problem. <laughs> so, but seriously, it's, what it delivers is the, the enzymes that are responsible for breaking the bond, bonds, breaking down the foods that are the otherwise gas offending molecules, the fructooligosaccharides present, which also happen to be, these are foods that are also wonderful for feeding, feeding our friendly flora. So when we want to maintain a healthy probiotic environment in our digestive system, we're eating foods like legumes and cruciferous vegetables. So when we avoid them because of gas, we're avoiding an opportunity to do something incredibly important for our immune system, our digestive system, even our brain, because of the, the gut-brain axis, the way that our, our friendly flora actually promotes a healthy relationship even with our brain. Gas relief is available right now. Gas relief, call. yes. <laughs> oh, go it's online. to avoid a gas crisis. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, Folks, we, we have a couple things that we want to talk about. Our calcium magnesium. We're covering a lot of ground. Here. We really are. Um, this is, the, oh, there's a lot to talk and about I, here. And I just want to talk about this quickly. If, if calcium products have been unpleasant for you, hard to digest, hard to swallow, and bottom line, when you ask me about a tablet, Tablets are just nasty because they're hard to swallow. Right. Then they're even nastier because think about a tablet. It's a dense mass. When you talk about a calcium tablet, it's a, tab it's a metal tablet. Calcium and magnesium are metals. They're metals. Right. So it's basically a metal tablet that's relatively insoluble. You don't want that as a tablet. That's a rock. That's a metal mass. It's the last thing you want to put in your stomach, and it's why tablets can be so upsetting for most people's stomachs. That's why everything we make is a fine powder in a capsule, so you never have issues with stomach upset or the product repeating on you. But more important than the calcium today, and again, this is you won't find a calcium product like it, the most important discussion to have when, any, when anyone would ever talk about calcium nowadays, and even when anyone would talk about the importance of vitamin D nowadays, mm -hmm. is vitamin K2, MK7. Right. That's the most important discussion. Why? And, and vitamin K2, MK7, it ensures that the essential calcium we need only plays its essential role and doesn't play a negative role. And, and vitamin K2, MK7, there was just recent research published that was exciting that talked about arterial flexibility, that it was revealed that people had more flexible arteries, which is something that, that is so critically important to retain as we age, because as much as we worry about the resiliency of our skin and the resiliency of our joints, if we can maintain the resiliency of our arteries, right and our veins, um, that's even more important for longevity and health. So vitamin K2, MK7, uh, the research, what it, what it basically is, the, the easiest non-scientific description for vitamin K2, MK7, it's sort of like the police officer of calcium within our body. So we know if we absorb calcium, we need calcium in all our cells. We need high, uh, high quantities of calcium to maintain healthy bone tissue. But the, the ubiquitousness, the, the constant availability of calcium within our body, if there's sites in our body that would be receptive to it, calcium could be deposited there, causing calcification. What stops that process and shifts calcium so it only goes where it's supposed to go and doesn't go where it's not supposed to go is vitamin K2 MK7. That's why I refer to it sort of as the police officer, the traffic cop of, uh, of calcium or for calcium within our body. It's one of those ingredients that I said this 30 plus years ago about coenzyme Q10 that one day, because no one cared back then, but one day I said this will be considered one of the single most, I've said about vitamin D, 
yeah. one of the single most important nutrients that anyone would ever contemplate supplementing. Um, I said that about vitamin D 39 years ago. It probably took 35 years for that to take place, for that respect to have been acquired. CoQ10, it probably only took about 15 or 20 years. We're in the infancy with vitamin K2, MK7. I've had it as a product for about a decade. Right. It, it still is something that you could go in supermarkets, not even find it. Discount stores, not even find really? it. It's the, the market is only first being created. But it's for me, it's not about the market, it's about the science. And the science 10 years ago was strong enough to, and not just compelling to warrant creating it. And I've noticed that behind the scenes with Andrew, when we've been looking at doing the uh, calcium product, Andrew will put a lot of weight on vitamin K, uh, MK7, because clearly, as you can hear him say, there is a lot to be said here. So I can see that energy and passion coming through you. Oh, no, that it's, this is it's so important because we all, we all have to maintain our skeleton. We're living longer and longer. We don't want to be afraid of calcium and vitamin D because vitamin D plays a critically important role. Right. You don't want to go through life with anything other than a healthy vitamin D level your whole life. So we want to make sure we have the calcium that we need but we don't want that calcium going to where it doesn't belong. And what has been recognized and demonstrated in study after study after study is vitamin K2, MK7, plays that wonderful role to ensure that we get all the wonderful benefits of calcium without any of the potential downside of calcium. If you're looking to order this, remember special pricing. Everything that we've done tonight is all on special pricing. So this is a good time to be able to do it. I, I'm a big believer that when you see something and you're attracted to something or something really strikes a chord with you, to strike. Because when Andrew and I have gone, that incentive might not be there. And Andrew, these are all but beneficial things for us. There, the well, year. nothing I make is, isn't beneficial. Everything is beneficial. And it's certainly vitamin K2, MK7. It's one of those products where I'm, I used to say this about CoQ10 or <laughs> glucosamine. I used to always describe myself as sort of the lone voice in the wilderness that, <laughs> that the, the supermarkets were all busy selling their, their once daily multivitamin. And certainly I had a once daily multivitamin, but there were a lot of other ingredients that had just extremely important science, but none of the other companies at that point felt it was incumbent upon them to educate. So meanwhile, I wasn't selling much of these products, right. but I was devoting the time to education. So I've been devoting the time to educating about CoQ10 for 35 years, and probably for the first 20, <laughs> no one was really interested, <laughs> but they learned. And then eventually, when more and more of the public groundswell, and I think now with the internet, if I talk about something like vitamin K2, MK7, it could stimulate your curiosity. Yeah. You could go online after this show and you could do research and go, wow, he wasn't kidding. This is serious. And anyhow, with our products tonight, I think we have special pricing till midnight on the West Coast. Yeah. All of the pricing. I and I'm thrilled that we can, and you can see that. I mean, this is kind of the dark horse of the show. It's a product that doesn't get a lot of airtime, but and, you believe so much. And in it. what's important about vitamin K2 MK7 is it doesn't have, in terms of blood clotting, it's not the form of vitamin K that plays the role in blood clotting. So vitamin K2 MK7 is something that plays an entirely different role. It's an entirely different molecule. Right. We can't confuse the two because vitamin K1 will not provide these benefits. If you'd like to discover it, we'd love for you and, to. And by the way, it's called vitamin K because the whole family in German, uh, the word for coagulation begins with a K. Oh. So vitamin K1, which has everything to do with coagulation, which if you're taking anticoagulants, you don't want to take vitamin K1. Although that's a whole nother longer discussion that one day I will do a video about because actually you do want to supplement K1. You want to create a steady, stable amount of K1 in your body and then take the medication that you need because then if you consume K1 as part of green leafy vegetables, which you shouldn't have to avoid, um, you're not going to have that impact in your clotting. And, and of course, it's also important. It's been shown that um, vitamin, low vitamin K levels are one of the side effects of taking these um, these different anti-clotting drugs, so these blood thinners. So it's something we all have to pay attention to. I'll do a video about that in the future because there's all sorts of great science and something that you'll be able to talk to your doctors about.
If I was just half as smart as Andrew Lesson, ah. I'd be a very happy guy. I tell you, very happy. Maybe if I take Andrew's next product, it's going to help me think <laughs> sharp with memory sure. and brain. No, I... <laughs> My parents uh, blessed me with a good brain. It's, they really no, did. It's, and I, you know, I'm I'm grateful, and and I try to, as uh, as my parents said, long before the Spider-Man movie came out, <laughs> sort of with with a good mind comes great response <laughs> comes great responsibility. What did they say in Spider-Man? It was great with great power comes great responsibility. Yes. No, but they always because I was kind of lazy in school. They always said it's you know you you have a responsibility. You need to use your use your brain and use it well. Your brain is a lethal weapon, Andrew yeah. Lesman. But just don't have those. Hopefully not a lethal weapon. Hopefully, <laughs> In a good way. Hopefully something beneficial for, for me and others, yeah. Well, what happens to those of us who, and I think I speak for most of us, where we have those fuzzy days. We have those days where just nothing seems clear. We don't seem to be as sharp as we were. This is a product that can help that, correct? Well, it's... It's the principal product I make in that regard. As we talked about the acetyl L-carnitine before, it's something that we added to our original memory and brain formula. It contains the botanicals, and one of the hardest things, I just read an article today about sort of that, so many of the different ginkgo biloba um, products you're going to see on the market, botanicals in the market, they're not properly standardized. They're actually, they have inappropriate ingredients in them that one of the hardest things in making this product is ensuring that what's in the product is what's in the product. That we can meet the standardization on the label and we have to often reject materials because we test and assay everything that comes to our company. But what you're looking at here is a comprehensive formula, our most comprehensive formula in terms of supporting memory, concentration, mental acuity, to, to support us in the face of the, the normal changes that occur as we get older. Um, I haven't felt as though I've experienced any of those yet, and I'm not as young as I used to be, but I think the main reason is that I, I'm doing all the right things. And, and this isn't at the top of the list of the right things you can do. The best things you could do in terms of, of maintaining your mental faculties is staying physically active, mm. as physically active as your body permits. And that might just be moving around a little, walking around a little. So physically active, trying to be as close to your optimum weight as possible. Two very straightforward things that we never really associate with our, our brain health, but isn't it fascinating how our society has been struggling with neurological health over the last few decades. And as a society, our obesity and overweight is getting worse, our vitamin D and B12 deficiencies even worse. Mm -hmm. So of course, this, this product delivers both of those nutrients. But again, it's something that we, we have to be cognizant of not just a, a supplement that can deliver support and promote the, the benefits in that regard, but the things we could do in terms of how we eat, and, and certainly a diet, more omega-3s in the diet, substituting other animal protein with fish, um, because fish delivers omega-3s, and omega-3s, guess what your brain is principally made of? Omega-3s. Right. Our omega-3 product, do we talk about the fact that it focuses on DHA, because DHA is 65% of the weight of the brain. It's, it's just, it's almost two thirds Amazing. of the weight of the brain. Who knew? So um, unfortunately, the way we eat traditionally in America, you know, I was raised sort of in a meat and potatoes household. I've had to re, I've had to adapt my diet based upon the research and the science I read if I want to be as healthy as possible. Well, we have 16 minutes left and we still oh, have wow. about seven more items and we're going to do it, Andrew. We're going, this, we're going this way. Um, um, talking... That's not possible. <laughs> I believe in us, Andrew. We're going to be um, sprinting up and back here. We, we could do it. We need to get those steps in, as we yes. said. Um, there are, there are many products that a lot of folks don't ever want to be without, and Ultimate Women's Wellness is certainly one of those that I know is a, 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 a fan favorite. In, in a nutshell, it's, we we've always talk about how certain of my products emulate certain diets from around the world. And this is a product, the key beneficial ingredient in this product is really taken from the Asian diet. It's, it's a standardized extract uh, of the soybean. And it's, of course, non-GMO soybean, but it's a standardized extract for these isoflavones that have been observed to diminish the natural, diminish or eliminate the natural symptoms of menopause. 
the hot flashes, the night sweats, the interruptions of sleep, the, the mood disturbances, and, and of course, menopause and perimenopause. It's an individual experience for each woman, but the underlying uh, chemistry of it is identical in each woman. So this is a product, you could read the reviews. Uh, I think uh, there's, it's probably rated, it's, I, I know it's a customer pick, so I know it's rated over four stars. Yeah, it it's rated 4.4 stars out of 690 reviews. It's amazing. 500, is that 518 or 13? 518, 518 are yeah. perfect five-star reviews, um, and plus the, the four-star reviews. So it's a product that, <laughs> despite it coming with a with an enormous promise it doesn't disappoint and i think most most folks most women wouldn't think that a simple natural product can make such a difference again i've been talking about this issue for 30 plus years i talked about how the the synthetic um, hormones uh, for menopause and perimenopause were, were not healthy, were increasing the risk of, of cancer in our society, specifically breast cancer. Eventually, that all became public information, and eventually our habits have changed in that regard. If you want to do something with hormones around this time of life, then speak to an experienced physician endocrinologist who's going to work with bioidentical hormones, and, and there's also great science and research in that regard. But if you just want a natural tool, that can diminish those symptoms, the experience. I encourage you to read the reviews, and, and this truly delivers. Uh, the reviews are heartwarming and really significant, life-changing to read what so many, so many ladies are saying about Ultimate Women's Wellness. We're excited to share it with you tonight because, again, it is special pricing. So if something that you would like to try or you're skeptical, and skepticism's okay in life. It's yeah. good to be well, skeptical. Well, I... <laughs> I prefer, prefer, and I've said this before, I prefer everyone to be skeptical. Maybe being cynical isn't healthy, <laughs> but in our society, I think it's hard to sometimes not become cynical because so much isn't as it seems. Right. But, but I encourage everyone to sort of, to, to do the research, to learn as much as they can and to, to ask questions. And that's why at my company, I always mention this, if you have any issues, problems, questions about our product, questions about anything health and wellness related, um, call us. You could have our your doctor call us. It happens all the time. Our number is easy to remember. It's a free 800 call, so just remember 800-800-FREE. 800-800-FREE, that's 3733. And, and just call us and we're there for you. So that's unlike in this day and age on the internet, it's hard to find anybody to talk to. We're happy to talk to you. It, it's yeah. horrible, and we'll head over this way, but it's horrible when you're on a website and you're trying to find a phone number and you just can't find it. They won't let you see it. God forbid you find yeah, it. You God forbid find the you call them. But again, that's one of the things that I think in, in this day and age where there's so many sort of websites out there where you yeah. can buy anything and everything, that's what makes HSN unique is that um, it's live, we're really here, and there are cameras, you could see all the people in the call center who if you wanna, you could order online of course, but if you really wanna talk to somebody, it's as simple as picking up the phone. And I think that's disappearing in this day and age of uh, sort of impersonalized commerce where everything's made in another in China or yeah, wherever, and, my, yeah. and, and so little is really supported and, and provided right here in America. Well, as mom always said, it's what's on the inside that counts, but there can be no argument that when you <laughs> feel good on the outside, it also helps that feeling of confidence. Well, here it is, Andrew's number one most reordered product, the one that more people love, love, love. It is the most reviewed. I last looked, there were over 4,000, 4,000, five, and now there's over 5,000. Uh, reviews over 4,000 of them are perfect five stars. If it's dry, brittle nails, if it's split ends uh, and fine hair, you're looking to have a bit more of a radiant glow about you, you've got to try Andrew's healthy hair, skin and nails. I mean, Andrew, this should be on a pedestal with lights on it. Oh, no, it's, it's become... <laughs> Uh, out of nowhere, I, when I first introduced this product, it just was introduced because I, at that time, maybe in some ways I still do, I took what we do very seriously. Right. And we were busy making omega-3 products, making products that were for serious systems in our body. The integumentary system, our hair, skin, and nails, most people don't even know the name of it. It's, <laughs> they say hair, skin, and nails. It's not the integumentary system. But that integumentary system is the largest system in our body. But I looked at this as being a vanity product, that, that I wasn't going to be making a, a vanity product. Right. And uh, I was making products that dealt with real systems in our body that affected right. our quality of life. And so I made this product, and we talked about it briefly, 
and and then all of a sudden realized over a matter of months the inventory disappeared and we we couldn't keep up with it and it was just reorders coming in coming in and because wow. it, it preceded the internet we didn't have any way to really know what was going on <laughs> and we weren't monitoring our inventory that closely because it just things usually were during the shows that right. things were being ordered so it really took on a life of its own and then i started reading the letters and the comments on it and i realized this probably no product that does more for what ails people right. than this product. There's no product that provides a benefit in a way that, because we all accept what's going on in our body and we try to do the best we can, but this is an area that I think people would love. They invest a great amount every year to get the best results possible, but everything we're doing is on the outside of our body. It's just, it's makeup, literally, whether it's hair and shampoo or conditioner or cleansing or moisturizers or whatever treatments. This goes to the core of how these tissues are made. It goes to, it is the very source of those tissues. So it's one of the most common sense products, but I think the reason why we get so many reviews is because people are astounded. And I think you review a product if you have a horrible experience. Um, if you have a good experience, you probably don't. But if you have a surprisingly good experience, you do. And I think that partly I say because my industry provides so many bad experiences, <laughs> people get awfully surprised when they get a product like this that they just anticipate. They've tried all the different beauty vitamins in the supermarket, in the health food stores, and they've had terrible results. And they expect, okay, it's a money back, you read the reviews. Money back guarantee, I had nothing to lose. And little did I expect that this product would actually perform. Well, there it is. I mean, I, I, and we could honestly spend, we could dedicate a two hour show just to reading reviews on this product. Um, we have a lot of folks taking advantage for obvious reasons. Even the larger size is under $80 tonight. What's most important and, to which, me. By the way, is it's about 15 cents a capsule. And the way the product is currently made, the way the product originally made 20 years ago, right. you had to take two capsules. And when you took two capsules then, you got a quarter of what you get right. today. So it's better actually, than ever no, was. you get an eighth of what you get today, sorry. So at one capsule today, you could take one capsule. I, and I'd say probably half the people who use it now take one capsule, the rest take two capsules daily. And if you look in our graphics, you'll see something so important because it, it's okay, it's the human condition that we wanna see results and we wanna see them right now. Well, you're gonna see visible results in less than 30 days. That's a remarkable thing, Andrew. And that's, well, that's, that's the key, that it's a product that you can count on delivering <laughs> And, and it's something that, a money back guarantee is, is something that I hope people don't take advantage <laughs> of. Um, but, but if you're not pleased, I insist that you take advantage of it. But my products, the interesting thing is, my product with the lowest return rate, last time we looked, was healthy hair, skin and nails wow. in the largest size. So it's a product that delivers, uh, it's a product that has science behind it, and it has the experience of, well it has experience of tens of thousands, but it has experience, uh, it has the reviews of thousands of people you could count on. We're gonna go say hi to Donna. Donna, welcome to the show. You're watching us live on the Monday Night Show. Donna, please meet Andrew. Hello, Andrew. Hi, Donna, how are you? I'm great, thank you for taking my call. Oh, I, you're welcome. I have to say you're the only um, person that makes vitamins that I trust. Oh, thank or you. Or any, any supplement. Thanks. And um, I wish I could purchase all of them, but I, I simply can't. And I have a question. If you could explain a little bit of the difference between that acyl uh, carnitine and the energy and fat metabolism. Sure. And because you said it all helps you burn fat and, and it's good for the brain, that and the membrane right. and brain. So the if I had to select just one, can you tell me a little bit what's different <laughs> about them and which should I purchase? What would your goal be? Is your goal to burn fat? Is your goal to support your, your brain, memory, mental function? Or both? Uh, both. Um, then I would, I would recommend getting the, the energy and fat, because the energy okay. and fat metabolism factors, because the acetyl L-carnitine, it's present in both. And acetyl L-carnitine is a specific molecule. And the carnitine in that molecule is what your body uses to move fat to the site where it gets burned. It, it's something that our body can make, but it's something that when we want to mobilize that fat, in, in most cases, it's something that we have to adapt to, that as we do more of the work necessary to burn fat, our body 
creates more of the tools necessary to burn that fat. So what's nice is when you use a product like that and get the acetyl -L carnitine, it's not selectively just going to fat burning, it also is available for the brain because it's also been shown. And, and specifically, again, while the, the acetyl part is important in creating the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, but it's also the carnitine because our brain relies on fat metabolism, the carnitine's important to burning fat to providing energy in our brain. So that would be the best way to go. And it's okay. just the acetyl carnitine is a molecule, but uh, memory and brain or energy and fat are both comprehensive formulas that have other nutrients as well. Could you take them both together? Yes, you can. And they're okay. all designed, we make sure that all the other ingredients, we've lowered the levels of B vitamins over the years as we've created more formulas that contain B vitamins. So there's no risk of overdosing or getting too much. Great. Thank right. you so much. All right, you're Thank welcome, you, Donna. Donna. Great Take question. Care. Great, Great question. Um, I, I know we're kind of, are we wrapping up on healthy hair? Oh, good. We have about 60 seconds more. Um, there's a lot here and a lot to absorb and a lot to take in. But, uh, you know, when you talk about nails and, you know, my mum has been uh, involved in the nail industry for my entire life, so she's all about the nails. Don't look at my nails right now, but if your nails are brittle, if they're always breaking, if your hair has got lots of split ends, this is a product that can really help. And I don't think there's one host that doesn't take it age, is and, and the ingredients in this product are the ingredients that a typical dermatologist or nutritionist or dietitian would recommend if someone was having issues with their skin or hair and nails, and even though a product like this, of course, is not designed to treat any medical conditions that pertain to, pertain to our hair, skin, or nails. You know, as I said with glucosamine in our joints, that simply supporting healthy hair, sitting, simply supporting those tissues in a healthy fashion requires these nutrients. Mm. They're not drugs or medicines treating something. So you should do whatever you need to do with your doctor, your dermatologist to deal with those issues. But it's just basic common sense that even a challenged tissue requires the nutritional support that a healthy tissue deserves, and I think deserves it just as much or more. I'm excited for you to try it. Right. We have two more quick things we need to get to. A brief mention on phytoceramides. Andrew, why do I, what, what are they all about? Phytoceramides, it's, it's, we've had this for a number of years. It's a product that's becoming more and more popular. You typically see it in topical products, but if it's beneficial in a topical product, it's much more beneficial internally because phytoceramides are the natural molecule within our body that allows our cells to best retain its moisture. Our body uses fats, cholesterol, cholesterol, ceramides to retain moisture in the cells. So to the extent you want to, you want to perform moisturizing of your skin internally, and it's been observed in clinical studies, you deliver the ceramides that can be incorporated into the skin. Phyto simply means they're derived from plants. You can derive ceramides from other animals. We prefer to derive those ceramides from plants. We're gonna head over here. One more item, and I'm really excited we get to do this. Alpha lipoic acid. A lot of folks have been asking about it, we are going to squeeze this one in. Andrew, Quickly. this always gets a big surge of interest. Yeah, alpha lipoic acid, it's an ingredient that's often referred to as sort of the sister product to CoQ10. Uh. When you look at the, the most powerful individually identified molecules, typically we're talking about CoQ10, we're talking about alpha lipoic acid. What's great about alpha lipoic acid, when you look at the most powerful antioxidants in the body, um, you look at something like glutathione peroxidase, and alpha lipoic acid supports our own natural production of glutathione peroxidase. Alpha lipoic acid supports healthy carbohydrate, healthy blood sugar metabolism. It's referred to often, interestingly enough, as, as the universal antioxidant. We might even have that in the graphics. Do we? No, uh, we don't. No. Um, it should be in the graphics. We'll do I, it. I write those, so <laughs> I must. Uh, I blame you. I, I blame myself. <laughs> so it's all my fault. Um, but it, by universal antioxidant, what alpha lipoic acid means is that a typical antioxidant, vitamin C, is water soluble. It's only going to exist in a water environment in our body. And our body is sort of a how would you say, kind of schizophrenic, it has two worlds. <laughs> and one world is lipid, the other world is water. So, and the two, obviously water and oil don't meet, don't match, don't mix. So what alpha lipoic acid has this unique potential, it can be happy in a water-based environment, happy in a lipid fat-based environment. That's why it's referred to as the universal antioxidant. It goes everywhere. It goes into aqueous environments. It also goes into our brain, which remember what I said before, two-thirds of our brain by weight 
are omega-3 fatty acids, DHA, so the brain is typically a fatty structure, so an antioxidant, a protective compound like alpha-lipoic acid is extremely important for tissues like that. So, but what's great about alpha-lipoic acid is just its universality. It goes everywhere. It gets along with everyone. So, the, I mean, this is covering a broad spectrum of different functionality in terms of what yep. it's supporting. And plus, our original alpha-lipoic acid product was a 200 milligram formula. It's a difficult ingredient to encapsulate. And now our current alpha-lipoic acid and the form we use to be able to encapsulate it is a very, very unique form and an outrageously expensive form, is it really? which I, I marvel that it's available at the price it is given the cost of our special form of alpha-lipoic acid, that we have to go all the way to Germany to get it because the other forms of alpha-lipoic acid from China, from America, America can't compare to this form from Germany. Its stability, it, it's just, it's purity because the other forms of alpha-lipoic acid contain all sorts of uh, contaminants, solvents that I don't like, whereas this form is completely pure. It's by far and away the, the best source of alpha-lipoic uh, alpha -lipoic acid available, but I would imagine less than 1% of the alpha-lipoic acid available in America comes from the source that, that we get it from, specifically because it costs about five times more. And I think that has to be one of the main reasons why and, there is such a surge of interest and, in this one. And, and when I'm next in Europe, I'm going to Germany to <laughs> inquire about them either helping us manufacture the product in the United States or, or supporting us because I would like to, I'd like to see if I could, as great as this price is relative to its cost, I'd right. like to see it even be less expensive. The man never sleeps. He's always working for a healthier mind, body, and <laughs> trying, soul. Trying, trying. Andrew, sir, thank you as oh, always. You're welcome, Adam. My pleasure. Thanks, everyone. And I hope I answered enough of your questions. I'll continue to do videos that answer your questions. I know that's the most important thing I can do, especially between the shows, is get you as much information as I can so you could live as healthy a life as you'd like to. We're going to see Andrew back at the end of February? The end of February for a, a very quick visit, just for a few hours. Yes, very exciting. And if there's anything that you've seen you want to order, it is all.